Here's a unique object for you to look at. It's something that I made myself in 2014. Having not done anything creative or practical in a while, I wanted to have a go at a project. And I chose a chess set and a box for the pieces to go in. The chess pieces took longer than I thought they would, but were generally straightforward. The woodwork, however, I hadn't done since a kid, I was a kid. So I needed to borrow some tools, like a bandsaw, and I bought some American maple and black walnut. I also had to learn how to use veneers to do the top, and the boards made with some veneer, which I could probably do better second time around. The chess pieces themselves I wanted made out of silver on one side and gold on the other side. But gold, I couldn't warrant the expense, it's gone up so much in recent years. So I decided to do the gold side in copper instead. Having never worked with copper, I didn't realise quite how prone it was to tarnishing. And it's a bit more difficult to work with than silver. If I had to do it again, I'd make both sides out of silver. And then I'd have them plated with the rose gold plating on one side. As it turns out, I got both sides plated anyway. Uh, the silver side's plated with rhodium plating, which is a hard white metal. It doesn't tarnish, and it's got quite a nice gloss finish. They normally use this for white gold, because white gold's got quite a dull finish. The copper side I had plated in rose gold for the same reason. I didn't want it tarnishing. Um, but the plating cost me a fortune, to be honest. The pieces needed cleaning up after I'd soldered them and it was quite time intensive. In actual fact the whole project was time intensive. It, it took me a long time to make the pieces and and the box took quite a while as well and the cost worked out far more than I expected because I had to buy tools along the way and and the materials weren't that cheap. But I think it's worth it to have something unique that you've made yourself, even though I probably couldn't recover the cost if I sold the piece. The design was inspired by a chess set that my dad made when he was young, but this was painted black and white. To do it in bare metal required a bit more precision. It's very easy to be critical I think I could do a better job second time around, but it's quite nice that this is a handmade and unique item that I can hand down to future generations. So hopefully you got some enjoyment watching this and I get enjoyment by using it on the rare occasion that I do have a game of chess. Thank you very much for watching.